But it seems, as Jeff was saying earlier, that the president is isolated in his beliefs here because he's got virtually no support on Capitol Hill on this statement, Jake. It's amazing to watch the White House continue to argue that the earth is flat. We'll learn. The directive I'm signing today will refocus America's space program on human exploration and discovery. It marks an important step in returning American astronauts to the moon for the first time since 1972 for long-term ex exploration and use. This time, we will not only plant our flag and leave our footprint, we will establish a foundation for an eventual mission to Mars and perhaps someday to many worlds beyond. In space, the United States is going to do Colonel Glenn proud. We are finally going to lead again. I'm merely calling into question your claim that all of this is settled, that, the per oh, okay. that we know precisely what is happening and why, and that anyone who asks pointed questions about it is a denier and ought to be imprisoned or shouted off the stage. No, that was your word. That's you guys. That's not my. That's not my claim. And I really. Would you like me to? Would, would you like me to read your quote? That people who disagree with you ought to potentially go to jail. You said that. Okay. And I'm just saying, isn't I'm not isn't sure that's exactly what I said, Mr. Carlson. Science? We can talk about that shortly, but. Is it appropriate to jail the guys from Enron? Was it appropriate to jail the people in the cigarette industry who promised it wasn't addictive, et cetera? Okay. You're, look, my only point is, shouldn't we be encouraging people to ask honest questions, which I am doing, and you don't seem to have the answers to those questions. Okay, so I, I got to disagree why. with you. I claim I do have the answers. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you this. Why aren't you concerned about it? Don't you have four children? Why aren't you concerned I, I about it? I am concerned. Climate? That's why I'm having you on. You look, you don't reach correct conclusions in science or politics or any other field unless you can ask honest answers without being shouted down by people like ask, you. But I know this directive will ensure America's space program once again leads and inspires all of humanity. The pioneer spirit has always defined America, and we're picking that up in many other fields. I think you see that. I think it's obvious. All you have to do is look at what's happening with the markets and all of the great things that are happening. We're leading in many different fields again, and it'll get more and more obvious as you go along. You see what's happening? You see the rockets going up left and right? You haven't seen that for a long time? Very soon, we're going to Mars. You wouldn't have been going to Mars if my opponent won. That I can tell you. You wouldn't even be thinking about it. Parasites, you're, you're using the language of politics. Look, you're not, you're not a not scientist, as you know. You're a popularizer, and, I just the think, and that's fine. Of economics. But so I'm, ju I'm just saying, you look, asked what it would to the be extent like that you prevent people, okay, did if you, you prevent what people like? from having an honest conversation, you're doing a grave disservice to science. Don't you think that? So, After braving the vast unknown and discovering the new world, our forefathers did not only merely sail home and, uh, in some cases, never to return. They stayed, they explored, they built, they guided. And through that pioneering spirit, they imagined all of the possibilities that few dared to dream. Space is a war-fighting domain, just like the land, air, and sea. I'm just saying, you don't actually know because it's unknowable. So, this so why is how long you it takes you to questions? interrupt me, okay? It takes you quite a bit less than six seconds. Today, the same spirit beckons us to begin new journeys of exploration and discovery, to lift our eyes all the way up to the heavens and once again imagine the possibilities waiting in those big, beautiful stars if we dare to dream big. We may even have a Space Force develop another one. Space Force. We have the Air Force, we have the Space Force, we have the Army, the Navy because the parasites are showing up sooner and or the pests are showing up sooner and hanging around longer. The, I the, think the, that's the probably all Wyoming true, but you... would not be overwhelmed okay. by pine bark beetles as it is right. because of climate change. That's how so the world would be different if it weren't for humans. So much of this you don't know. You pretend that you know, but you don't know. I and you believe people with you, who ask I you really questions. I really have to disagree with you. Well, I spent a lot I, of time look, with this topic. I'm open-minded. You are not. And we're out of okay. time, unfortunately. So, Thank you for joining you know, us. And that's what our country is doing again. We're dreaming big. You know, I was saying it the other day because we're doing a tremendous amount of work in space. I said, maybe we need a new force. We'll call it the Space Force. And I was not really serious. And then I said, what a great idea. Maybe we'll have to do that. These are the mainstream media. And I can tell you why they're leaks. Because the president has created two factions in his administration. They don't like each other. So they leak. It's not from the outside. It's from the inside.